Wildfire smoke is really unsafe for everyone. Wildfire smoke is substantially more toxic than air pollution. When we inhale all this particulate matter and it dissolves into our bloodstream, you think about the organs that get rid of toxins in our body, like our bladder, for example, and you see a much higher risk of bladder cancer. There are two other very large groups of people that we're concerned about, and that is children and older adults. Children's lungs are still developing, and exposure to pollution like wildfire smoke can actually impair lung growth. There's actually data that tells us that young children that are exposed to wildfire smoke for five or more days have a two-fold higher risk of developing asthma. When lead is in the air, some of it does eventually settle to the ground where it is deposited in soil, water, and on plants and other surfaces. The fire retardant itself, of course, is meant to sort of quelch the fire, but there is a risk of that to both the firefighters as well as to the community itself, because now you're talking about mixing carbon monoxide and mixing those particulate matters with the fire retardant. When there is wildfire smoke, we recommend whenever possible for people to stay inside with doors and windows closed. If someone must be outside, we strongly recommend wearing an N95 mask. People who have actually been exposed to wildfire smoke, there are studies that say that their life expectancy can be reduced by up to 1.8 years. So when we're talking about an extent of fire like this, we're really talking about not just an impact in the few days of the fire, but really for decades to come, even on the life expectancy.